Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. Hope you're all having a, or, yeah, hope you're all having, have had an amazing week. That's, that's what I had to say. Go. Was missing a few words. Uh, the English major that I am. Gotta say my sentence right. But, uh, got a, this is our first one from uh, this place, isn't it? Dogfish, yeah. Dogfish Brewery, uh, or Dogfish, Dogfish Head. Dogfish Head, don't. Don't forget the Dogfish Head is what it's called. The, that's the brewery name. Um, today we're paying homage to a great American band act who I'm, I'm going to say I've never really listened to them. But I know they're big, big players in the love for all peace movement. It's a band that started in 1965. And oh, beer. Go ahead. Wait, what? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Uh, a, band <laughs> a band that started in 1965. Um, and we're talking none other than the Honorable Grateful Dead. Uh, they were in California, right? Oh, I don't they know. Start I think they started in California. Uh, I'm not the music whole, major. The whole, yeah. <laughs> But um, as you know, they got uh, the Little Bears as their logo. And this one is called American Beauty Pale Ale. Uh, pale Ale brewed with granola and honey. So that should be interesting. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Pass along. Pass them. Pass them. Okay. Smells happy. Smells yeah. like a little bit of honey. Dogfish isn't more expensive brewery. Uh, I feel like it's a little crooked. I probably just made it more crooked, but I don't know. Probably. Dogfish is an expensive brewery. This was uh thirteen ninety nine. Okay. Retail. It's a newer beer just came out, I was told. I mean, Dogfish has been around for a few years. Yeah. But, like Chris said, this is a new brew. And holy crap. Foam. Gotta go. The bad thing about that is, like, the foam is tasteless, but it's got such a weird texture in your mouth. It's just like, <laughs> oh, but uh, look at that color! Beautiful amber color to that. Um, almost an Oktoberfest color to it. Yeah, uh, just go gorgeous color. I'm loving that color. It's just beautiful. Um, very pleasing to the eye. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a, I, it's got to be one of the prettier colors. That yeah, definitely. Beer. Definitely, especially from a pale ale. Yeah. Like, I know, you know, pale ale. They're not. It's not going to be, you know, super light. But when you when you hear the words pale ale, you're you're not thinking amber. Yeah. This is just straight amber. It's it's a very pretty color. Almost looking like a red ale, almost. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That's yeah. what I was gonna say. Uh, it's it's almost like a red ale, but you can you can see through it. Yeah, right. Like, and that's not common with like such ambers. Yeah, we don't get many ambers. We're like, I mean, besides the you know, the color like the the difference color, it's almost ex completely see through. Yeah, but uh. All right, my head has gone down a considerable amount. My head's gone up. I the mean, heck did I do? I don't know. Freaking my head was only magician about... Magician over here. But, uh... Did you give me some head? I might have. When you weren't looking, I spit my phone in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... I'm going to go for it. I'm going to let you, I'm gonna let you get first sips. Uh 
Ooh. Uh oh. That's really nice. Okay. That's unique. That's unique. I like that. That is unique. Do you taste the honey and granola? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh man. I taste the honey more, but I definitely taste the granola note in there. Oh yeah. I definitely taste the granola note. The honey is a little bit more. It's almost like the granola is. It's almost like eating a nature valley bar. That kind of that kind of. Man, and you got like the wow. I, I'm gonna put the granola is like an aftertaste. Yeah, it's got an aftertaste, but it sits it sits there. So like when you after like your first breath. Yeah. Uh, it's just like again you get hit with granola. Yeah. You can like true. swallow, hold your breath, and then breathe, and you're hit with another granola. Just uh, the honey, I, I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's a good pick. It's a good. Uh, it's a good um, brewery. I like this one. It is a good brewery. Um, this is our first one on here. I mean, we've had them before. Uh, they also, I, oh no, wait, that's a, what is, is City Shark dogfish? Or is it Land Shark? Land Shark. There's Land Shark, but that's not dogfish. Is, it, is that its own? Land Shark is, uh, I believe, brewed by Jimmy Buffett's crew. Hmm. There's another one I'm thinking of from Dogfish that I've had. I can't think. I can't think of the name. Um, either way, good brewery. Uh, Dogfish had excellent brewery. Um, I think they really nailed it with this one. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. You can really take like that granola just really like shoots out. Yeah. The more like I wasn't expecting with, that. Yeah. I I mean like the granola on a sip. Granola kind of like passed through it. I, you like had said that you taste it, and I was like, I don't. I'm not really getting any granola notes. It like hits you after. And then like I put and I like breathe it a little bit, and now I'm getting like so much granola. Yeah. I this, like it. This is really, I mean, excellent summer beer, excellent oh. barbecue beer. Yeah. Like burgers, yeah. dogs, brats. Uh, uh Man, yeah, yeah, that'd be real good. Yeah. Just sitting around, not a campfire, but no, sitting no, no. around like a picnic day. Yeah. Or like, you know those like real nice summer nights where it's like 75 degrees outside. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a breeze, so there's no mosquitoes out. That nice, that and it's like fall night. Yeah. And you're just watching like the sunset. It's like 9 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. And you just got rocking an American Beauty. That would be amazing. Um, I mean, I guess you could drink this around a campfire. I wouldn't really want to, though. I wouldn't, like, this wouldn't be something I would go for around a campfire. No. I would, like, the Alpha King, I would go for at a campfire. The one from last week. The three finger, or, space, or middle finger. Uh, or, uh, space, space middle finger. finger. Alpha King was. The, the one that we did a long time ago. A long time ago. I was like, I don't know dang. why I'm thinking Alpha King. I was shot. I was um, I was surprised because you were you pulled out Alpha King and I was like, how does he remember? No, like, I. He must have gone through some footage. I'm gonna be honest. I really. I should probably watch Alpha King again just to see what we gave it. Yeah. But uh, Space Middle Finger. That's the one I'm thinking of. Space Station Middle Finger from last week. Uh, definitely have around a campfire. It's got that kind of fruity notes to it. This is more of just a. Oh, chill out. Yeah, chill out. And it's, like, yeah, because the space, uh, what was it, space station? Space station middle finger. Um, it like it had those fruity fruity notes, but it also kind of like warmed you up a little bit. Yeah, this isn't gonna warm you up. Like, no, there's no good of you, but it's kind of like a it's a relaxing like, beer. Yeah, it's not hard to drink. I wouldn't even bring this fishing. I'm not gonna lie. No, no. I don't think this would be a fishing beer. This this is more just been a long day at work. Come home during the weekday, crack one of these these beauties open. Um, I mean, hanging out with your buddies, just yeah, on the porch or whatever, or in the garage, or whatever personal preferences. 
you know, crack a few of these open, just have a good time. Definitely. I mean, work on your car. Yeah, if you got, if you got some mechanic work to do, and you want a beer while you're doing it, so grab one of these and this, start cranking yeah. away. This, I, I, I wouldn't mind drinking this one while doing stuff. Like, yeah. Whereas, like, a lot of beers, like, it's kind of like a sit-down. If it's, like, a relaxing beer, it's like a sit-down, relax, and drink. This is, like, I can do things. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's not fishing. I don't know. I cannot. I'm trying to see myself drinking this while I'm fishing, but... I don't know. Maybe it's just fear of like dropping it. No. Like dropping it in the water. Just like And then all the all the fish get dog heads. <laughs> yeah, right. But uh I could cause I could see myself like opening up a bottle of these, one of these and like trying to drink while like casting my fishing pole. And then just disaster. Just, disaster. Just disaster after that. I'm not the most graceful caster so uh, it's okay neither am I uh, yeah but um definitely if I was like playing my guitar oh yeah like out on the porch yeah, during the summertime definitely grab one of these uh damn it man. it's great how much you pay for this again $13.99 so it was a little pricey a little bit pricey I think it was worth it though mm -hmm. Well worth the price. Um, actually, it holds up during uh, if it warms up a little bit. Yeah, so that last sip was a little bit, yeah, you know, not ideal. And uh, well, I mean, that, it holds up really good. Well, our first sip, sip we enjoyed, and I want to point out that it wasn't. Uh, it was a little. It was it still a little bit. It was warm. still a little warm. Yeah, like. And we enjoyed the first. And this, and it hasn't affected my score at all. Yeah. Like, I mean, it holds up. Tastes great. It's a good relaxing beer. It'd be great with. Be good at a barbecue. Great with barbecue. Yeah. Um. Excuse me. What are you gonna rate this at? I'm gonna throw this bad boy at a nine. I like it. Yeah, I am too. Double nines. I'm gonna throw, yeah. I'm gonna throw a nine at it as well. This one I um, definitely go back to. I would. Oh yeah, no doubt in my mind. I mean, that little like, especially for not being a big pale ale drinker, mm -hmm. having that kind of honey, like kind of uh, toned down the flavor of a pale ale, but still yeah. have that little Fire. hoppy bite to it, is just absolutely great. You know, like, because we still get that little hoppiness, that little, like, nip, you know, yeah. from the hops. But the honey just kind of, like, coats it, and it's just, like, toned it down just a little bit. And then, like you said, you get that nice little granola, granola. snap. And it's a granola aftertaste, and it, it sits there for a while. Yeah. If you don't like the taste of granola, this isn't. No, this yeah. Isn't. I wouldn't get this. If, but, I mean, I don't think that you would get it if, like, just reading purely, you know, what it's made, brewed with. If you were like, I don't like a granola. Oh, and it's brewed with granola? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get Like, no, you want to get yeah, it. Yeah, pass on it. But, I mean. I don't like cherries. I'm allergic to them. Yeah. So, I, if I see something's brewed with cherries, I'm going to be like, I mean, it could be good. For your health. You kind of got to get away from that one. Term. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, like you said, I mean, yeah, this is one of those beers that's not gonna be for a boy, definitely. Um, and I know granola is not the most favorite thing. In yeah, beer. I like granola though. I do too. So I do too. We both like granola, so um, it's good I for mean, you too. I'm not like crazy about it. Oh, yeah, it's like granola bars, uh -huh. but those are not. Those I'll are so. I will down there in all the bars. I had a whole box. Oh, yeah. But, uh, Easy. Oh, yeah. Easy. But, but granola is, is healthy, and it's good for you guys. Yeah. 
So you can even count this as a healthy drink. There you go. Count it as a healthy drink. New year, new you. You know, grab yourself an American Beauty brewed with granola and honey. Yeah. So, uh, I think it's going to do it for me. That's it for me as well. Um, oh, I didn't show you guys the uh, label. Yeah, please. Uh, it's got the little Grateful Dead bears on there. Sorry, it's out of focus. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go, kind of. Um, also, Chris pointed out, uh, you're not going to be able to see that, but 6.5% alcohol. Because, why, Chris? They formed in 1965. They formed in 1965. So we got 6.5% alcohol. Great little uh, Easter egg on the label. So uh, definitely points for that. Yeah, definitely. Definitely some some like extra points for that. That's that's like extra credit. But um, yeah, great. so yeah, that's gonna do it. Be sure to uh, stay tuned to the channel for episode two of Drumcast, and uh, we're gonna sign off. Right now? Want to say it? Should we say it? Yeah, we're going to say it. We're going to say it every time. Stay safe. Be safe. We're going to see you guys in a little bit.